Okay, so I came home. What the shit is this? What is this? Break a shit. What is this? This looks like a Feldstein ripoff. Probably because it is. This thing, I don't know when I got that. Or this, because it has a red logo. I have a white logo. This thing blows up when you use the wrong adapter. And when did I get this? Or this? Mystery galore over here. 74210 headass. Oh, oh yeah, um, it doesn't end there. It does not end there, because uh, I also came home to this. And this. And that. But why the hell are they all here? Wait, I don't remember buying these. Who and where are the culprits? Who's responsible for this? Aha! Black hey guys, what's up? It's Clay Ranger 143 here along with the Siren Geek and about to get 33 and Amber I'd say you I am, but this is my face file. Uh, Thunder Thunder Bunny 01. Yeah, it did cut out. Thank you. Thanks, Holly. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, in this episode of Radio Reviews, we're going to be starting off season 10 with quite a nice radio, and I think it is very very suitable for the season because yeah we're on our 10th season everybody we're gonna have some nice new radios we already have some nice new radios to review and they're all over here over there back there and up over here and so right here. and right there ow a yeah. whopping 31 yeah so let's go ahead and get right to it because in this episode of radio reviews we are going to be reviewing something made by midland that is fairly brand new but the technology on it, let's be real. It is somewhat outdated. It's low-key shit. <laughs> yeah, it's low-key shit, but we're gonna review it anyway. So, without further ado, to start off the 10th season, we're gonna be taking a look at this. The brand new Midland ER-10VP. seasons of this magnificent series and we're going to start off with a radio that has the number 10 in it. Oh, it's Xerxes! He's a big boy. He's a big boy. He's a big boy, Xerxes. Oh, oh he's so cute. <laughs> he was literally the star of the show in season 6. He's so cute. Like, he may... He he may look big, but once you get to know him, he's extremely friendly. He is friendly. Like literally, when I was there at his house, he was giving me nonstop kisses. Yeah, Xerxes is a love ball. He's so cute. Yeah, does he care? Like, like you let me right now and have your windows open, and he's another or another outside. Just uh, be warned. And he might just go ballistic. Yeah, because he likes <laughs> new people. Are you taking apart my 500? Yes, sir. It's very basic. But anyways, yeah. The Midland ER-10 VP. The latest VP in the lineup of ERs. 
So you have the ER-210, the ER-310, the ER-200, and the ER-300, but now we have the ER-10 VP. And these are the latest portable radios and the latest radios in general from Midland. So yeah, Midland Radio Corporation has definitely been making some new radios. And we already have two of these fine examples, which were pre-ordered, so yeah, we have... Well, they were not. <laughs> oh, they were not we pre-ordered? Oh, yeah, I we thought still these... Have two. We still have more. Oh, yours, the pre-ordered ones didn't come yet. Nope. So these were already bought on the spot. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, so you're gonna have four. In total. Wow. But anyways, uh, yeah, we're gonna start off with Holly's ER10VP. So, yeah, let's take a look at it. Basic overview of this little red and black brick. Clearly, it is a small, micro-sized version of the ER-210. Kind of like how Eton made the Eton Micro Links and all that. Like, we reviewed that in Season 7, the FR-160. But, um, looking at it at first glance, it looks like a very nice, cheap, affordable, portable little weather radio. Yeah, it's only 20, 25 bucks. So. Yeah. Making this possibly the lowest priced radio ever made by Midland from the factory. Yeah. How cool is that? But that doesn't necessarily mean that it's good. It, so, it, um, the price yeah. Warrants, uh, some problems. Yeah. Uh, Nicholas, don't you have one of these? Everyone always says I have every model of radio out there. Well, you have 96! Okay, uh, first of all, no, I do not have the ER-10VP. Uh, oh, you- I decided, You don't? I actually don't, because one of my criteria for radios is, uh, if I were to buy one, it has to have, like, some sort of, like, external charging capability on it, like, hold on, let me turn on my real quick, so- Ooh, you- you don't- I, you don't have an ER-10 yet, do you? Ooh. I do not have, and I do not have one yet, but yet I mean, battery pack only, so I might be able to get away with it. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna risk because uh, it's happened that I not would disclose on camera. Why don't we go ahead and show him the features? He's gonna love this, isn't he? Not indeed. <laughs> so. Let's get to the first feature, and that would be the siren. Holly, bring up your video of the RWT. Ah, uh, fuck. <laughs> I'll let you do that. Let's listen to the siren on the ER-10 VP. Okay, while Mitchell over here continues to hopelessly I'm desperate. try- <laughs> Continues to hopelessly try and self-activate my unit in WX-500, Holly's got a video for us straight from her channel, the EAS Geek, which by the way, check it out, that's a brand new channel that she made for EAS captures, dedicated to EAS captures. So this is the siren on the ER-10 VP. <laughs> Such a pleasant siren. Yeah, that's the siren. I thought it was going to be like the ER-210 and 310, to be honest. Because it's part of the ER lineup. Mm -hmm. It's the latest model, but no, I guess they wanted to make everything new about it, including the siren. Because I think with the ER... Of... What? That's the thing. It kind of sounds similar to the um, Analog Wheelands Dearborn Michigan head. Oh, hi, low. Beautiful sound. I love analog wheelings. They sound the best. Mm -hmm. But anyways, Nicholas, what were you saying? It kind of like the uh, kind of, it kind of sounds like the uh, Midland walkie talkies that that have the weather alert on them. It kind like, of uh, does. Except the. Yeah, low portion of the high low open is a little higher pitch. Mm-hmm. Oh no. At least that has a uh, interesting siren, unlike this thing 
that will be reviewed in season 11 or 12. Whenever 12. The fuck. 12. Because these season two. 12, got it. These two bitches about to carry two more seasons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and. And for those, for those Splatoon people, here's Callie. Enjoy the bean. Splatoon. He's into Splatoon ah! stuff. I'm aware. Bruh. But uh, anyways, yeah. The siren on the ER-10 VP is quite unusual, and yet, okay, this lighting, it kind of makes it look pink almost, but it's not pink, it's red and black. So why don't we get into the next feature, and already, Holly, this is a bad feature already. What is it? Because there's many. Oh yeah, there's many. There is many. But, uh, hey! <laughs> Oh, the more bad features, the better, right? Right? Right, Nicholas? Right. Oh, boy. This is this is already going to bring down the reputation of this radio by miles. So, uh, yeah. Why don't we get to the fact that it has no backlight? It doesn't have a... It doesn't have a fucking backlight? It doesn't have a backlight! It's a plain Jane display. Liquid crystal display. That's all it has. It's just a tiny ass radio, no backlight, just a plain Jane, yellowish, vomit green, liquid crystal display with black figures. No backlight. None. Damn. None. But it has a flashlight! But yeah, no backlight whatsoever. And that's bad. Because let's say you want to use it in the dark. What are you going to see through it? What, are you going to like put your hand into the flashlight and just try and reflect the light from your hand to the screen? What are you going to do? There's no damn backlight on this thing. Yeah, it just says alert. With the, the siren, it sounds so calm. Yeah, let's, 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 uh, hey, hey, let's, hey, let's, we gotta remain calm, we gotta remain calm, the ER-10VP just activated for an EAN, with the worst siren known to man, <laughs> but no, seriously, this has no backlight, and that is already a bad feature in itself, because most of these portable radios have backlights, but this is the oddball. This is one of the very few portable radios with a screen with no backlight. Yeah. No backlight. How about that? How's that for a bad feature? Because there's more. I'm not sure if you even want to know the rest of them, Nicholas. Oh, I do. Oh, you do, huh? Yeah, you do, yeah. you do, you do, um, yeah, you do. Let's just say for the next feature, she would not be pleased with the size of this antenna. Okay, the dinky ass antenna. It's tiny. It only has five pieces. It's telescoping, yes, but it's so small and so fucking delicate. You can barely pick up a signal. Believe me, we've tried with no luck. You gotta be in that perfect spot just to pick up a signal on the ER-10VP. The ER-10VP is one of those radios that has such sensitive reception. I mean, it's just terrible. And we'll, we'll, we will demonstrate that later on. We will demonstrate that later on in the reception segment, but look how small it is. Look at that. It's almost as small as the Recom R500. It's a tiny antenna. It can barely extend beyond five bases. It's small as shit. It can barely pick up a signal. At least it's, at least it's a top mounted antenna like other radios like the 310s mounted. At least the 310 has a bigger antenna than this shit. Yep. Yeah. Oh, Blacksburg did an oopsie. What did they do? Corrects SVR. Well, 
But, um, yeah. This is the thing. The problem I have with this radio is the fact that it just has a stupidly small antenna. Oh, God. Makoto's under a tornado possible SVR. City of Portsmouth. Um, uh, SVR. Um, issued by Wakefield. Just now. Um, but yeah. The ER-10VP has a lot more flaws and bad features that we're gonna get into very shortly. So, why don't we do that? I think Holly might know what I'm talking about with this next bad feature. Huh? On the ER-10VP. Well, you're gonna know. Oh. <clears throat> <clears throat> hey. Ew, I Midland battery. Now do you know? Uh -huh. <laughs> Midland batteries are nasty. The batteries. Let's talk about the batteries, shall we? The factory AA batteries that you get with any brand new Midland ER-10 VP. These things are terrible. They are horrible batteries. They barely last a week. And if I recall correctly, this only lasted for about a week before it died, right? And that was just on, like... That was just on regular use, not constant use, right? Mm -hmm. Just regular everyday use. Sometimes it's on, sometimes it's off. It was mostly off. Mostly off? And they're already dead? This is why the batteries from Midland... Who knew? Midland made batteries. Who the fuck knew that they made batteries? But yeah, the batteries they make... <laughs> are just terrible. Keep in mind, keep in mind the same company that made cameras, but they were eventually all delisted. Apparently they violated sort of like Etsy rules or some shit like that. I mean, hey, if they can make batteries this bad, I can just imagine what their coffee tastes like. Their coffee probably tastes like ass. Their cameras were ass, what I've heard. I've yet to see someone actually use a fucking Midland prop for their videos. Since when did Midland make cameras? What is that, a TOA? No. RWT? This man trying so hard. He's trying so damn hard, but it ain't working. Um, if he does somehow get it working, I would like to personally hire him to fix my dust five hundred. <laughs> but um, anyways, the batteries on these things are just so bad. Both of them are actually using batteries not made by Midland. The Energizer rechargeable one that's Mitchell's. And then Holly's over here is in army time. And it actually has great value batteries. Yeah. But even those, even those are better than this. I'm just saying, these batteries are like the epitome of Midland. They are terrible. I'm sorry, but they just, they're just terrible, you know? They're just, they don't, they can barely hold a charge. Half the time, they're just draining themselves, even when the radio's off. And not to mention, they're just there for show, honestly. So, yeah. Here's what I'm going to do. These batteries, here's what I'm going to do with them. You want to know what I'm going to do with these batteries? You want to know? Blow them up. Into the fucking trash you go. They are crap! Alright. Next up, the setup. The setup on these things are okay, but they are a little confusing. I'll explain. Number one, the radio itself has to be on 
to access the setup. Have you ever heard of a radio that has to be on to access the setup? The Acura 8560RX. Oh my god. Like you can't, like can't, you can't have it like, you can't have it to where the no band is off to set it up. You have to have, you have to make sure the no band is turned on that that set you. Yeah, it's the same thing with these things. I thought it was quite weird, but to tell you the truth, I'm not really surprised because it's Midland. It's Midland. That's that's what you get. What you see is what you get. He's still trying. Damn. But um anyways, let's get to the next feature and uh that would be the flashlight. And it's actually quite good. Alright, the flashlight on the Midland ER-10 VP. So, let's take a look at it. I'd imagine it would be pretty good for a little pocket radio. So loud. Was that updates tornado warning? Oh, continues. But um, yeah, let's try out the flashlight, shall we? So that's normal mode. That's uh, high power mode, and then this is the SOS light. To me, it's not exactly as, um, you know, bright as it could be, but it's a single LED. I mean, for a tiny LED, what more could you want? It's cool. It's tiny, but it works. Look, I'm shining it on my Chromebook right now, and it's reflecting the HP symbol on my bed sheet. So yeah, the, the ER10 VP's flashlight is actually quite good. Looks good as well. EO3 Tech's flashlight is better, don't matter. Yes, it is. Yes, it certainly is. Because, yeah, like I said, ER10 VP, yeah. It's basically, um, Raleigh, what do you want? Ow. Got so many people messaging me. Holy crap. Oh, man. Let me just check my DMs. Anyway. Ow. But yeah, why don't we get into the next feature? Anyways, um, let's just see. Nicholas, you're gonna hate this feature. Uh, the fact that it doesn't have uh, any other power source other than batteries? Yep. It has no AC power option. That's it. That's the main reason why I didn't buy it. Yeah, no AC adapter plug whatsoever on this thing. Not one plug, just the. F That's it. You can only use it with batteries. Yeah. That's gay. Midland. That's gay. <laughs> it's gay. It's like an HH. Like at that point, just the HH50 with fucking screen. Exactly. It might as well be called the EH10VP. 
<laughs> like, Jesus. Come on, Midland. Please. Please, please, Midland. You can do better than that. There are other implications that make this radio not worth the price. So, uh... Yeah. It has a headphone jack! Oh. It has a headphone jack, but that's it. No external power source other than batteries. That's all you get. That is all you get. So you gotta keep changing the fuckers out every now and then. Funny, funny how it has a headphone jack. It's a fucking $20 video, but yet phones fall for like almost triple that price. Wait, triple or uh, double that price, and a low tornado warning from Roanoke or hit Halifax, Pennsylvania. Halifax uh, from Pennsylvania, oh, uh, yep. Yeah, I was gonna say, if you guys have your 42 right here, go for it. I can't. Also, Mitchell. Ah. I found this. Blue, you can keep that. <laughs> okay. This is part of your LED kit. This is a little five. Imagine, like, imagine if something modified the ER3 tech. Wow. Okay. So, so these are now ER310s. Guys, these are now ER310s. Why? Because Nicholas said so. They're not good, though. They're not. That's the okay. problem. <laughs> imagine, imagine, imagine if Pokemon modified the ER10 VP to give it back like Someone could do that. No. Uh, maybe I would consider it. Like, if they, if they could modify it to give it like a power power adapter option, like just a micro USB or a lightning cable, <laughs> if you know, please. Um, not just like, that. Anything make it better. Not just that. Add a rechargeable battery pack. So whenever you plug it in, it'll charge the battery for you. Instead of having to swap them out every time they die. But uh, yeah, why don't we get into the next feature, and that is the speaker quality. Okay, the speaker quality, as he still tries to self-activate the 500, it's not gonna work. I'm telling you, it's not gonna work. You know what I mean? But, um, anyways. Yeah, let's just try the, um, frickin' ER10VP speaker quality, so... I told you the reception was shit. <laughs> I told the you so. The speaker gets loud enough, the back battery plate vibrates. Yeah, I noticed that actually. I felt it. I felt it. I shit you not, I felt the damn thing. Anyways. What was that? We're literally getting bombarded with IEM bot notifications left and right from this. While we are reviewing radios. Anyways, now to try the SVRs. Yeah, we gotta wait for those. But no, let's go ahead and try the reception now. Oh dear. All right, the reception on the Midland ER10 VP. Let's try it. 
Should we do indoors first? Yes, we should. Let's try it. Reception's that bad in here. I can only imagine what it's going to be like outdoors, you know? I'll be right back. Let's try it out. Not looking forward to this. I'm not looking forward to this. Okay. We're out here now. I'm not looking forward to this at all. Okay, so the reception is actually pretty decent. It's decent. Like, in between, it's okay. It's not something to brag about or anything, but now we must get into the next feature. And, uh, yeah, that is the... If I may... That is the AMFM capabilities, because it has AMFM. Wow, as soon as I start recording, it gets out of focus. But, yeah, the AMFM capabilities on the ER10VP. So let's try it. but had a delegation in Vienna and was watching closely. That's because President Biden's foreign policy agenda has a lot riding on the results. Here with more is NPR White House correspondent Franco Ordonez. And Franco, first, what came out of the talks this week? Well, Audie, both sides are talking positively about progress. The State Department said today that there are still questions about how serious Iran is about returning to the deal, but there are some positive signs. And going into this, it was really unclear how this first week of talks would go. There was no, you know, significant plan for a second week. So we know it has AMFM and we know it works, but uh, yeah, actually same amount of quadrants as the in, as the antenna on the 210. But regardless of the fact that it has quite terrible WX reception, at least indoors, at least it can get outdoor stuff better. So yeah, we're moving on to the build quality. All right, all right. The build quality. So, um, how would this feel in your guys' opinion? Because it feels sort of flimsy, it's I guess. Sort of cheapy. You can tell that they cut some corners to uh, uh, keep the cost down. Did whatever they can to make it twenty-five bucks. Yeah. It does feel like cheap, thin plastic. You know. Hey, Michael, look. Oh, my, oh my God. This bitch pulled a funny. Legit 6969. But, um, yeah. The fact that both of these radios are here and they feel quite flimsy almost to the touch, at least they work. I mean, oh. 
What is that? That looks like a small cracker blemish. What? Yeah. What is that? I don't know what that is. That looks like a stress crack. Bro, these things are brand new. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Brat. That, that, that explains their build quality on it. Well, uh, shit. Raleigh, what do you want? Oh, uh, tornado warning for person. Yay, nay. Nay. Um. But, uh, yeah. Besides all that and the stress crack. These radios do feel pretty cheaply built, because guess what? That's why they're 25 bucks. So, um, yeah. So for 20, my thoughts are for 25 bucks, it's not that bad. But at the same time, they could have done better. They could have, it's Midland. They made the HH, oh, that was 50 bucks. Wait, the HH 54? Yeah, that was 50 bucks. 50, when it was brand new? Yeah. What do you mean, what is- 40 or 50. What? I don't know. But like, I got mine on clearance and it was 26 for reference and price. Yeah. What? <laughs> Just come on, Midland. What is with what is it with Midland making overpriced radios? You know. And Midland is just another stink bug. That's yours. Oh yeah. But um, yeah. Can't we That's just... the. Stop. <laughs> what were you saying? Can we just have a portable with the same? Please, yeah. Midland. Yeah, like you, we already have the HH. Well, no, but, we don't have the HH anymore. Well, oh yeah, they discontinued it. They discontinued the damn thing. They're a bunch of dummies. Yeah. Someone should message them and be like, please make another portable with the same. Yeah, another portable with the same would be quite nice. But, uh, yeah. Unfortunately, life's a cruel mistress, and they gave us this. They're like, <laughs> wait, it's like, I want to go to McDonald's. That's the, like, a new portable with same. We got food at home. The food at home. <laughs> the ER-10. But, uh, anyway. Blacksburg. Nope. But, um, yeah. I think we're done with the ER-10. Do you want to get to the final thoughts? Final oh, thoughts. Oh, you forgot uh, to mention that the time will drift. Oh, yeah. What? Yeah. So, oh! So when the battery, oh, yeah! When the battery runs out, the time hey, drifts. Hang on. Let me see this. Let, one more feature, and then we'll get to the final thoughts. Because, uh, yeah, one more complaint. Now. Uh, Nicholas! Nicholas! Are you there still? accurate right now, but, um, yes, the time will drift. Oh, he's gonna love this. Just watch. But, um, uh, uh, Nicholas. Nicholas. I am hot concerned. See that? You see, this radio, it has army time, obviously. You can either set it to 24 or, um, yeah. 12 hours? 12 hours or 24 hour time. But, um, yeah, why don't we get to the fact? I forgot to mention this. Thanks to Holly for reminding me, because I was about to forget. But, um, yeah, why don't we get to the fact that this radio has the same problem as the Spark ITR2BT? The clock is too damn fast! Midland, Midland, oh, Midland. No. You guys had to mess up. Okay, but it's only when the batteries start to run out. Exactly. When the batteries run out... It, like, goes supersonic. Yeah. Like, there was one day I looked at mine, it, it was, like, 20 minutes fast. I couldn't believe it. 20 minutes fast? That's worse than the ITR2BT. Actually, no, 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 no. No, the ITR2BT is actually worse than the ER210 because, um... 
Yeah, it didn't, didn't the clock go past two hours? Oh, it's gone more than two hours. Like it's like it's like right now it's like a few days ahead. A few day. Wait. Wow, what a bad radio. Man. <laughs> and we covered this shit in season six. Never would I have imagined that we would see another radio by a well-known company that made the same mistake. I mean, at least we don't have to set the date on them. Yeah. That would be a pain in the ass. But, but Midland. You need to fix that. You need to fix a lot of things about this radio. I know, it's brand new. The hype is in the air. It's been in the air ever since they released it. But the thing is, this is what draws it down, you know? You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's fast time clock, too fast for its own good. Absolutely same. no same. No freaking. Is that gonna be left here? Yeah. All right. But um, yeah. No same. No AC power. Shitty batteries. Shitty battery life. Actually, the battery life isn't that bad. It's not. Mine, mine has had the rechargeable batteries in it for I don't know how long, and uh, it's still at full charge. Huh. Well, that's okay. Uh, okay, I guess. Actually, over two weeks. Well, damn. Yeah. Well, damn, I guess that gives us some hope. I don't know. It's just, it, it, it's good when it wants to be. <laughs> right. So, um, now you want to get into the final thoughts? Yeah. Because I think we're just about done with this radio. Okay. The final thoughts on the Midland ER-10 VP. I know, we, there's a hand strap on it. Big deal. But, um... The Midland ER-10 VP, it's a good radio for only a short time. Let's just say that. Well, for no, no pun bucks. intended. But for 20 bucks, what do you want? This thing is literally the cheapest Midland out there on the market today. It's literally the cheapest one. 20 bucks, nothing more. I mean, you know it's they good. say, Michael, buy cheap, buy twice. So. It's good for maybe like a bus driver. Like I a guess. school bus driver, like, you know, they have, like, their whole, like, dash area where they can keep shit. Like, you just put it on standby and put it there. Like, At least put a solar panel on it, but yeah, no, they couldn't like, even do that. Just freaking batteries, are you serious? Just batteries, that's it. That's it. The ER-210 is grieving with shame. It is, the 210, despite its price, is a much better bang for your buck. For sure. Most definitely. Because, uh, yeah, that thing is a piece of crap at times. And we have demonstrated that tenfold. But um, if you want to get an, a Midland ER-10 VP because of the Midland hype and because, cheap. well, cheap hey, yeah. Midland stuff, go right ahead and, and buy one. pretty cool, too, so got yeah. that going for it. Anyways, yeah, if you want to buy one, go right ahead. Knock yourself out. That's yours. A bright flashlight. Yes. Yes. It blinds me. Burn. <laughs> it's blinding. But, but so, and this your, is a and this is a big but. And this is a big but. Ah, yes, the two ER tens. But, 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 but. No, seriously. Um, yeah. However, if you do want to buy an ER-10 VP just for the hell of it, you can. But it's just, I don't know. It's just one of those radios that, you know, I like, if I were to buy one, I would want to buy one. But at the same time, I don't want to because I don't really have a use for a $10 portable radio or $20 portable radio. That's not really going to do that much of a good job. <laughs> yeah. Hey, 10 for 10. Season 10. 10 bucks to, to eat our 10 VP. Yeah. No. Yes. So, anyways, guys, thank you for watching. That's about it for this video. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Hey, yeet, strobe lights. Also, subscribe to MontyCat33 and The Siren Geek. Both of them have new channels in their description. Calm down! Holy shit. Both of them have new channels in the description. So, um, yeah.
no doubt about it, check their channels out. They have new channels dedicated to EAS captures. So you'll be seeing some new ones pretty soon. Perfect. Car headlights, head ass, I mean, what? Yes. So, um, a hail report out of Ringald. So, uh, yeah, guys, that's about it. Thank you all for watching. This is Clay Ridge 143 signing out along with the fucking siren geek. Yeah, <laughs> and Benji Cat 33. Okay. All right. Check their channels out. Check their channels out. They're in the description. We'll see you later, guys. Bye. Bye.